Okay, now that we've site measured and decided where our main, our large shapes are, then I go in with a vine charcoal and lightly put in the large value areas. So keep in mind we're, we're not using, we can have some line in there, but I'm mostly concerned about rendering in our mid-tone areas. We're just going in with vine charcoal. Keep in mind that vine is very, very easily manipulated. You can erase it with your kneaded eraser. You can rub it in with your tortillon. So right now I'm just placing in the shadow areas. As I do this, I'm of course comparing this to my plaster cast. It's up to the individual artist if they want to use a hatching motion. Here, keep in mind we have another shadow right here. We have the, the outer ear and then the inner ear as sound can go into the eardrum. So this inner ear part has a nice piece of cartilage there. Be mindful of that as well. Put the shadow in there. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking a close look at how is light cutting across the ear. And the light, the light source will indicate where our shadows are. So right now I'm just putting in general areas of shadow. You can soften the shadow area with a tortillon and this will give you a whole field of value. Uh, once again, working with vine charcoal or a, a soft charcoal will allow you to quickly put in value. Now, we talked about this before. We're just going to go place a mid-tone value. And sometimes if your tortillon picks up enough of the charcoal, you can even use it as a drawing tool. If necessary, you can also use your kneaded eraser to erase any areas that you need to lighten up. So as I look at the highlight areas, you can go in later with those highlight areas and use your kneaded eraser to lighten the highlight areas. So I'm just going to go in and put in with my vine charcoal shadow areas, which later I can refine the highlight areas with by removing value with my kneaded eraser. Also keeping in mind this outer part of the ear, this is where the light is hitting it. I can do a very soft indication of the the edge of the plaster cast mold and that will help to define the outer edge of this ear. As you can see, I still have some shadow in here. I can, I'm going in with the vine charcoal. It, as you work on your style and technique, you will experiment whether you want to move your vine charcoal or your charcoal pencil in one direction or to cross hatch in two different directions to put in some darker values. Now keep in mind I'm saving the large areas, the detail areas, I'm going to save that for last where I'll go in with a 6B pencil to place the details, the darker details. Right now I'm just trying to put in a field of value. And as I'm placing this field of value, I'm paying close attention to the shadow areas on the ear. So I'm paying attention to the fact that the left side of the ear is in shadow. The right side of the ear has some highlights. So I can come up from underneath the ear here 
as well. And put some shadow area in here. So I'm going to slowly cover the ear with value. And as I put in the cast shadows and the form shadows, this will help to define the form and the shape of the ear. It's again moving from that inner ear outward. This is a very large shape right here. So I'm going to move gently. It is catching a lot of the light. So I'm just going to put a little bit of vine charcoal in here. Once I have a pretty good amount of charcoal in there, I can go in with my tortillin and soften some areas. Keeping in mind that I can do all the refinement later after I've put these values in. Right now I'm just placing value in to the inner ear to begin to define the structure of what is a very card, card it's, the ear is full of cartilage. It's a combination of cartilage and flesh. So you're going to have soft edges and hard edges. So as I render this with the tortillin and the vine charcoal, I'm keeping that in mind uh, with technique. I'm keeping in, in mind how, exactly how much pressure am I putting on my charcoal as I go in and add some value. 